Another convention I have done multiple times. Annapolis Comic Con in Annapolis, Maryland has been kind of a hit or miss for me. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. It's been more of a miss for me to go. The only reason I give it a higher priority is because it's close to my house and the tables are cheap. I had hiccups in the morning where it was like traffic, construction going on, stopping me from getting to my table. My table wasn't even set up until like an hour or so into the convention. This year was a little weird. They had um, no events, no events. It was straight vendors and artists. It was basically like being in a flea market. But I mean, it was a vibe. I had a couple people there I knew. Well, there was these couple of people that I didn't want to see, but I had to see them because they stuck me right next to them. Oh shit. At one point, the people next to me, because I've had encounters with them in the past, and I've told them how excited I was for my game. Well, when the game wasn't selling, what one of them decided to do is lean over and say, Oh, here you were worried that your game was going to sell and you were going to sell out, but you haven't even sold one. <laughs> As an artist, you have to hold yourself with some, some, some poise. Because if, that, if we weren't in that setting and he said some stupid shit like that to me, I would honestly... Oh, wow, he did... Oh, my God! He Cause it's like, it's just, how rude of you to say that we're all struggling to get sales and like, you would say something mean like that and think it's like the most hilarious thing to you? Mmm, mmm, the disrespect, the goal. Yes, there's art beefs. Believe it or not, there are art beefs with people. It's kind of like going to work and there's someone you really can't stand but you kind of just, you know, tolerate them for the sake of the job. Anyway, let's move along. I actually ended up selling three of the games. In fact, someone who said they were going to come back later actually did come back later and got the most expensive game, which is $100 for my official verse. So, in your eye. And there were plenty of lovely cosplayers. Unfortunately, no cosplay contest. There was enough downtime where I could actually walk around the convention and just take it in. It was a very, very small convention. It's like two rooms, basically. Two rooms. So, it really wasn't that big. It was kind of hard to, like, if a customer said they were coming back, they're going to come back because it was just, it was two rooms to look at. And the food wasn't expensive, so I think I only spent like $11 out of what I made. So, I actually get to take home some money for once. So, see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm gonna try to start posting videos more consistently. Even when I'm not doing my art tours, I want to do some more tutorials about art touring and conventions and stuff.